This is how we set up and execute the Nordic razor curl. The setup does take a bit of time, but it is worth it when you do this properly, trust me. I've opted first to hook my feet underneath the roller, underneath the bar. So I've got some leverage to weight my body down. And then secondly, I'm wrapping the band underneath my armpits. That's going to keep me nicely supported and assisted during this movement. You'll see why in a second. I want to start nice and tall though. And then secondly, I break and hinge at the waist, keeping my head and shoulders slightly lower than my hips if I can. And then I'm going to simply, by pulling into the bar with my legs the whole time, I'm going to push my hips out and forwards under control. This is the hard part of the movement. Try to open my hips as long as I can before pulling back actively, again with the legs, and send my bum toward the bar. So we hinge, we push away from the bar as long as far as we can. You can see I'm wrestling with that one there a little bit. And then I pull back with the legs to pull my bum back toward the bar. And then I hinge back up every single time. So it's a hinge followed by a leg extension and then a hinge. This is incredibly difficult. It's worthwhile doing slowly and under control. You're going to find as well that the more reps that you do whilst we get tired, we do find that our control and our level of awareness with how to execute this movement does improve. You can see now that I'm hinging deeper, my head and shoulders are falling lower under control before I then push out under control. And I'm using a little bit of arms to push off that box to come back in there as well. That is allowed initially, but the more proficient you become, less I want you to use the arms because your hamstrings are going to get stronger. You're going to be able to pull into the bar more. And then secondly, you'll in time be able to get rid of the band and you'll just do this under bodyweight control.